Too Hot to Handle, Episode 9, Return of the Nathan. Like, what a silly storyline that all ends up being. Nathan gets kicked off. Nathan goes on a one-on-one retreat for the day. Nathan comes back. Um, Did anything change? Uh, Maybe. You know, maybe he made a little bit of progress there. But still, like any time you have someone who's supposed to be a grown man that giggles every time there's a penis mentioned, uh, it's maybe a little bit too immature for a real relationship. Uh, You know, there still was at least a little bit of growth from him. Um, You know, even Nathan said, I grew more in this one-on-one session than I did the whole rest of the process. So that's kind of kind of telling about how he approached things and what he did d- during his time at the retreat. But anyways, he's back and we had Sad Holly for one episode and their story ends ends uh that last episode with them heading back to the private suite for a a night of temptation. And it looked like Holly was going to do her best to tempt Nathan to the max. If they can go the whole night without breaking a rule, which at this point I think is absolutely hilarious if they do break rules. Uh, If they can go the whole night without breaking a rule, they get $90,000 back for the group. Um, Yeah, it feels so much different when, when it's like, hey, don't do this and you get this instead of you have this uh and if you and and there's no like reward like the reward is not having other people mad at you for not breaking the rules uh yeah it feels so much differently when it's like hey don't break the rules and here's your reward so uh i'm kind of leaning towards that they're gonna make it but i think it's more hilarious if they break the rules uh what else happened uh georgia and harry uh they well, Georgia friend zoned him. Uh, and, and like, I don't really get her on this whole process because we had the situation with Steven and like the moment he mentioned things getting a little bit more serious, she was out. We have the thing with Harry and the moment that he mentions like, hey, I see myself not too long down the road being married and having kids. And she's just like, what? I'm out. Uh, the first mention of things getting more serious, she just runs away. And, you know, the process did not work for Georgia. Absolutely did not. Uh, what else? We have Bo and Harry. This was probably the m- most fun storyline of this episode. They've been the cutest couple this season. Uh, they kind of started out as friends and then just sort of decided to go for it. And now we have today with Harry asking Bo if he if, if she wants to be his girlfriend. They got the second green light of the season. The only couple to get a green light this season. Uh, and honestly, at this point, uh, they might be the only, only ones to get a green light all season long. We still have a slim hope of Nathan and Holly getting one. But they really haven't been that well behaved this season and beyond that all the other couples have just kind of faded away or just don't even exist anymore it kind of seems like Obi and Brianna might be a couple but we just don't ever see them so hard to tell what's going on there all right that's going to wrap things up for episode nine I want to jump into this finale here see what's going on so that I can just dive into the spoilers and what happens to happen to these couples and all that. I haven't heard if we're getting a reunion show for Too Hot to Handle. I do hope we are, uh, but I will also try to look that up before my next recap. All right, everybody, thank you so much for watching, and until next time, I don't remember the line.